Now this last one is a Dowland piece, um, which I have adapted somewhat. Um, Dowland was a, a contemporary of Shakespeare's, and he was one of the leading lights of Elizabeth. Except that he was rarely in uh, because he was Catholic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, I will just take this off and I guess I'll sit through the final one too. Um, so he was Catholic and so even though he was born in England and had English citizenship, he had, it was sort of like a student visa. He could come and stay for a while, but then he would have to leave again. So he spent a lot of time at the court of the King of Denmark and wrote much of his music there. But he would come home periodically, and he had a wife who lived in England, and he would publish a songbook, and his songbooks were really popular. And, uh, I mean, almost to the extent of Renaissance viral. And uh, he left his wife and later his son in charge of his uh, publishing interests while he would go back to Denmark. So um, he never wrote a song for his wife. We know he was married. He refers to his wife in his letters. And he only calls her his wife. We don't know. Right? Yeah. So, um, so this is a reworking of a Dowland song, and it is dedicated to Mrs. Dowland. 